The smartest people on Earth spent decades building super-intelligent AI. Now they're terrified it's arriving too soon. Jeffrey Hinton, the godfather of deep learning, just said five years. Demi's Hasabi's at DeepMind? 10 years, maybe less. Sam Altman at OpenAI? He's planning for 2028. These aren't futurists. These are the people writing the code. And here's what nobody's talking about. Six independent curves, compute scaling, algorithmic efficiency, model capabilities, agent autonomy, expert timelines and economics and cost are all accelerating at the same time. Six different ways of measuring progress. One timeline. This could be the fastest intelligence shift in human history. And it's not slowing down. For 50 years, technology advanced on a predictable curve. Moore's law. Steady. Controllable. You could plan for it. But in the last 18 months, something unprecedented happened. AI didn't just improve incrementally, it exploded on every metric simultaneously. Performance curves that used to take decades to bend are now bending in months. Capabilities that didn't exist in 2023 are routine in 2025. The researchers building this, they're scrambling to rewrite their predictions in real time. Timelines that once stretched decades are now measured in years. So what changed? Why now? Let's trace the six curves converging on 2030. Curve one. Compute scaling. In 2020, training GPT-3 cost millions and took months. Four years later, Frontier models use 100 times more compute and they're training in weeks. The hardware isn't just improving, it's compounding. Epoch AI tracked the pattern. Compute used to train AI models doesn't grow 10% per year. It doesn't double, it quadruples every single year. And the semiconductor industry, they've built a roadmap like a countdown. NVIDIA drops a major architecture every two years. Ampere in 2020, Hopper in 2022, Blackwell in 2024, Rubin coming in 2026, each one doubling or tripling the throughput of the last. But here's where it gets wild. While hardware is quadrupling, algorithmic efficiency is improving even faster. New training methods extract 10 times more capability from the same hardware every two years. Multiply those together, 4x per year in hardware, 10x every two years in algorithms, and you get an effective scaling rate of 12x annually. Which means by 2028, someone could train a model with roughly 300,000 times more effective compute than GPT-4. The same jump we saw from GPT-2 to GPT-4. A task that required months of compute at GPT-4 scale. On 2026 hardware, it collapses into minutes. The same amount of intelligence that took a season to train will soon take an afternoon. Now, more compute doesn't automatically equal AGI. But here's what history tells us. Every major compute leap has unlocked capabilities that flat out didn't exist before. Cross a threshold and suddenly the model does things it couldn't touch yesterday. And we're about to cross a lot of thresholds. Curve two, the algorithmic efficiency. For a decade, we trained AI the same way, show it text, teach it to predict the next word. It worked, but it had a ceiling. If the model didn't know the answer, it couldn't think its way there. It either knew or it didn't. Then in 2024, OpenAI released O1 and everything changed. O1 wasn't trained to predict, it was trained to reason. Instead of jumping to an answer, it generates chains of thought, explores paths, checks its work, revises, thinks. And here's the breakthrough. The longer you let it think, the better it gets. Same model, same weights, but allocate more computed inference, let it think for five minutes instead of five seconds. And it solves problems it couldn't touch before. They call it test time compute scaling, but here's what it really means. We've decoupled intelligence from training. You don't need a bigger model anymore. You just need more time to think. Now combine that with the compute explosion. Epoch analysis finds that recent models are roughly 10 times more computationally efficient than GPT-4, given just two years apart. By 2024, even an 8 billion parameter model, properly trained, was outperforming a 175 billion GPT-3.5 style model on many tasks. We're scaling smarter. This is the second curve, and it's bending steeper than anyone predicted. So how do you navigate this age of AI? Most people are still updating resumes for 2025 unaware that the game board has already flipped to 2026. To ensure you are the one running the agents and not the one being replaced by them, I've mapped out the transition in the AI career survival guide. It is the tactical playbook for moving from worker to architect. The link is in the description and the pinned comment. Secure your future now. Curve three, the model capability 
Look at standardized exams, the same tests humans use to prove expertise. GPT 3.5 barely registered, then GPT 4 demolished them. Bar exam jumped from 10th percentile to 95th. Medical licensing, same leap. College entrance exams, law school, advanced mathematics, 10 times to 20 times, performance jumps across the board. But the cutting edge benchmarks, that's where it gets surreal. GPQA Diamond, PhD level science questions where human experts labor for hours. GPT-4 scored near zero in 2023. By late 2024, 70%. Google's Gemini, 91.9%, .9%, essentially matching human experts. Frontier Math Olympiad grade mathematics. Models were stuck at two to 5% for years. As of 2025, they're hitting 25 to 30%, an order of magnitude jump in one year. Real World Coding, SWE, bench tests actual bug fixes in production code bases. GPT-4 managed 20%, current models 70 to 76%. These aren't incremental improvements, these are capability thresholds being crossed, and every few months the bar moves higher. Here's the question nobody wants to ask. What happens when these benchmarks hit 100%? When there are no more tests left to measure progress? The answer, we'll need new benchmarks, because the models won't stop improving. Curve four, the agent autonomy. The length of tasks AI can complete autonomously, what researchers call the time horizon, is doubling every seven months. In 2018, the best models could barely handle tasks measured in seconds. Blink and you'd miss it. By 2024, agents like Claude are crushing one hour horizons. If this curve holds, and there's every reason to believe it will, we're looking at multi-hour agents by 2026, multi-day agents by 2028, week-long autonomous projects, same time frame. Now, what does that actually mean? At a one-hour horizon, an agent can organize your day or debug a complex code base in a single sprint. At a 72-hour horizon, it manages an entire conference drafts proposals, iterates designs, runs experiments, from concept to completion, no human oversight. Meta just introduced ReBench, machine learning research tasks that used to take expert humans days to complete. Give the best AI agents two hours, they outperform the experts. The agents didn't just assist, they beat the humans. And here's the implication that keeps researchers up at night. Once agents can operate for weeks without intervention, they're not tools anymore, they're colleagues, maybe competitors. The time horizon is still growing. Every few months it doubles. How long until they don't need us to finish what we started? Curve 5. The expert timeline convergence. Just a few years ago, if you asked senior AI researchers when we'd see AGI, most would say 2050, maybe 2060. Safely distant, theoretical but something fundamental shifted. One by one, the most cautious, methodical minds in the field have been slashing decades off their forecasts. Demise Hassabis, DeepMind's founder, one of the most respected researchers on Earth, now expects AGI in the next five to 10 years. Jeffrey Hinton, the man who invented the neural networks powering all of this, he says superhuman AI could arrive in as little as five years. Sam Altman at OpenAI just stated they'll have a legitimate AI researcher by 2028. Not an assistant, a researcher, three years from now. Now, this isn't unanimous. Yan LeCun urges caution. Andrew Ung says decades. These are brilliant researchers with legitimate concerns. But here's what we can't ignore. The collective direction is unmistakable. And these aren't prophecies. These are probabilities. Educated guesses with massive uncertainty built in. But when the people building AGI start publicly revising their timelines, that's not noise, that's a signal. Curve six, the economic plus cost collapse. Now let's talk economics because transformative technology needs to be both possible and profitable. And AI, it's becoming explosively powerful and absurdly cheap at the same time. Frontier AI products are already generating over $10 billion per year in revenue, doubling annually. Meanwhile, the cost of running AI is in freefall, inference used to cost dollars per million tokens. Today, cents. DeepSeek's R1 runs 20 to 50 times cheaper than comparable OpenAI models, as low as 0.014 per million tokens. Go fully open source and you're paying mostly for electricity, 0.0003 per million tokens. AI that was viable only for tech giants a year ago, now accessible to startups, researchers, individuals. But here's the twist. While inference costs collapse, training budgets are exploding. 
GPT-6 scale runs could hit $10 billion per training run. That sounds insane, until you realize Google, Microsoft, and Meta each make tens of billions in profit every quarter. They can afford to bet big, and they're not just talking. They're already building data centers for exactly that scale. So here's the feedback loop. Revenue pours in, inference costs fall, deployment explodes, and training budgets skyrocket because the big players can afford it. All of that feeds back into the other five curves. More investment, more capability, more deployment. The economics aren't slowing this down, they're accelerating it. Six independent curves, six different ways of measuring progress. Compute power, training breakthroughs, benchmark scores, agent autonomy, expert timelines, economics. All of them converging on the same window, 2028 to 2032. This isn't speculation, this is measured convergence. Last century's revolutions like electricity, automobiles, the internet, took decades to reshape society. What we're watching now, multiple metrics shifting orders of magnitude in just a few years. So what does 2030 look like if these curves continue? AI systems handling tasks spanning weeks. Research projects that used to take careers compressed into months. Medical diagnoses synthesizing decades of literature in seconds. Engineering designs iterating through thousands of possibilities overnight. New cures, new materials, new discoveries, but also job markets reshaped, entire industries automated, power dynamics shifted, and safety questions moving from theoretical to immediate. Because here's the thing about exponential curves, they don't slow down just because we're uncomfortable. Whether you're optimistic or terrified, these curves are already in motion. The compute is being built, the algorithms are being refined, the benchmarks are falling, the agents are getting smarter, the experts are revising their timelines, and the economics are making it inevitable. So here's the question worth sitting with. When machines think faster than evolution itself, what does that make us? Their creators or their ancestors? If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more, and don't forget to grab the guide in the description.